I'm going to give it to you straight about Jason. His body was never recovered from the lake after he drowned. We've found all the kids that have drowned <laughs> at, at our camp. Yeah. <laughs> I've spent seven summers working at a girls camp in Vermont and in college I brought Tom to work with me at the boys camp and now we're married. We're gonna watch some summer camp clips and see how well they stack up to reality. Is that good or no? You wouldn't dare. There's definitely some food flinging that's happened at the camp. A full-scale food fight did not happen in my tenure, at least. Where the counselors are involved and there's like food absolutely everywhere. We've had a lot of animal run-ins with animals happen a lot. Yeah, there's been issues. We had a big issue with uh, porcupines. <laughs> Starting oh my to, god, uh, oh my god, eat, oh my eat god. Eat the kids' cabins. <laughs> eat our cabins, yeah. The porcupine thing was so I guess so the wood awful. glue is extremely delicious to porcupines, so they started like literally eating our homes for a while. I have had campers wake me up and be like, there's something wrong. Like, it sounds like someone's like being attacked, but it's just the foxes. First of all, I would die if one of my campers tried to pull a prank like that on me. We basically call pranks ox. Yeah. yeah, so ox are when the staff will plan some sort of, it's not even necessarily a prank, but just kind of like elaborate like surprise event. Like they'll like move everything out of the dining hall onto the ball field and then you have to eat breakfast outside. DeLuca, the train inspection. Come in. Roosevelt, how's that lanyard coming? Horrible. The lanyard's very accurate for one. <laughs> I think that's a difference between the Boy Scouts and a typical summer camp where Boy Scouts is a relatively military regiment. Whereas at summer camp, it's like... <laughs> it's like half the, the day is free time and the kids are literally just around. running wild. Yeah. Andy, are you gonna clean that up? Oh yeah, I will. Um, I just got, I don't have time right now. Clean it up and come to my office for the meeting. Classic That's scene. That's a great one. A great one. <laughs> Tom pretends to reenact that scene frequently at home when he doesn't want to do something. Yeah, almost daily. <laughs> Lars, shouldn't you be watching the kids? Oh, don't worry, I have them on the body system. Body system? Yeah, have a look. <whistles> body! The body system's solid in terms of... <laughs> It's, children tracking. I, I think it's very solid. Yeah, we never use it in swimming. We have a thing in swimming where anytime it's like when it's free swim and kids can go into the water, you count like as they go in the water, it's like one, two, three, four. And then when they come out, it's kind of the same count off. You need to have a system for sure. Anytime that the kids are yeah, swimming. Yeah, water and children don't really mix well. We're the owners and directors here at Camp Chippewa, America's foremost facility for privileged young adults. And we're all here to learn, to grow, and to just plain have fun! Because that's what being privileged is all about! Saying the word privileged young, young adults, that was basically exactly on point. Yeah. I think camp would be a great setting for like a more serious, uh, I don't know about like a serious drama. But like but a coming of age a story. Of age, yes, or like a, or like about friendships. We're gonna co-write it and it'll be out 
hopefully before Oscar season. So. 